with the Broussard. Coffee with the Broussard. you come along. Uh, we're going to sit down and have some coffee with the Broussards. Hey everybody, everybody say hi. This is we're the Broussards. This, we're the Broussards. This is <laughs> Brent Broussard. and, and Amy Broussard from Southwest Louisiana, Broussard Homestead. Y'all check them out on YouTube. Anyway, we just thought we'd have a chat and have some, have some coffee while we were chatting. What, uh, why the homestead, homesteading lifestyle? Why, uh, if, if you consider that a lifestyle, I don't know what the real word is. Well, I can tell you kind of where we got started. Okay. <clears throat> it was the housing crash of 2008, and I was a flooring installer at the time. And uh, things got pretty rough for us. And uh, so I ended up becoming a fireman. Right. And, you know, that was a long process. But, but in, in that process, I started looking into ways to um, mitigate the, 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 the losses and the, the struggles that we were having by relying on the current system and the way it is. Okay. Uh, dealing with the pay cuts. We were, you know, learning how to be frugal. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> learning how to stretch our money and it just kind of snowballed from there. That's Supplements. right. Supplements. Supplements. What was, what was the first thing you did? Let me just I mean, can you remember back what was the first thing you realized, hey, I can do this myself and I can save a bunch of money? Well, or save a little bit of money. Well, we started with chickens. My grandpa got us interested in starting chickens. I had never seen a chicken before in my life. A live chicken. I'll never forget her face <laughs> when I said, hey, you want to raise chickens? Well, what do you want to raise chickens for? <laughs> so this was before gardening, elderberries, yeah. all that stuff. Yep. Yeah, before, matter, before anything. As a matter of fact, that was even before the uh, before the 2008. So we were already, we, we were raising chickens by, by 2008. We were raising chickens and we had a little backyard garden. Okay. Because that's things that we both grew up with. Right. My grandparents always had a garden. Always. And so that was just kind of a way of life. But it was more or less just a small kind of hobby garden. You know, it wasn't anything major. Okay. It wasn't to be sustainable. Okay. Now, obviously, this this particular spot of land is not where that started. That's right. right. Okay. We were in the suburbs. Then. All right. So, where did where where did you start when you got this piece of property? Uh, where did this come from? How is this? How is this? Is this just? Uh, uh, did it just? You buy it, or how did, how did all that come from? Well, this acre and a quarter that we homestead, uh -huh. or that we're, we're working on becoming sustainable uh -huh. on, has been, it was a, a piece of the original 40-acre homestead from my great-great-grandpa. Okay. So it's been in the family for um, 100 and, let's see, we're, tw we're 2020 now, 140 years. So you got roots here. That's right. I'm the fifth generation. That that makes Abby our daughter the sixth. Okay. All right. That's right. What was it like when you first got the property? What where, where, what what did it look like? It was, it was a, a donkey pasture. Well, yeah, it it was a, a, a neglected donkey pasture. Just it it, it was just Overgrown. left to to nature basically, and the, the donkeys helped to keep it keep it down. There was no there there wasn't much brush. Um, but we took it from that and made a blank slate. Mm -hmm. We we took it down to grass and dirt. All right, tell me, what was the first thing you did when you got here? When well, before we even moved here, we moved our shed okay. onto the property. So we would have a place to store things and, and kind of help to uh, help us to... That was a shed that my grandpa up. built. And it was standing in Roanoke at our neighbor's house. Which is my, well, it was my mom's rental property. Now that's Roanoke, Louisiana. It would be a small right. town, not Roanoke, Virginia. Correct. Yeah. And um, <laughs> we actually tore it to, down to the, the walls and folded the walls in and moved it out here on a flatbed trailer. That was the first building out here. That that's was the right. first, before the house was even here. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And after the shed, what, for sustainability, what was? Well, we, after the shed, we put the house out. Okay. You know? And uh, we were we kind of got settled into that, and then we moved eight chickens with us. Yeah, 
because we hate, we still we we downgraded as much as we could, but we right. wanted to take a batch of chickens with right. us. Well, we brought eight, and a bobcat decided we only needed one. <laughs> so because we didn't have, a, I saw that bobcat. We didn't have. I don't know if it's the same one. Yeah, it could it's be. A big, it yeah, could yeah. be. Big old bobcat. It's a big old bobcat. But at the time, we didn't we didn't take the time like we should have and build a proper chicken enclosure and coop and, and all. So the the chickens were the, the bobcat didn't have much obstacles. Right. right. So uh, and that was our issue. We learned from it. And we still have the one chicken that survived. Oh, that's right. She's still yeah. here. <laughs> and that's been going on five years now. So yeah. what was your first thing you planted? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Okra. We, we planted I want vegetables. To say it was a, yeah. We started, because our soil is so uh, full of clay here, right. our, our soil is not ready for gardens. So what we did was we took a little patch, I think it was 4 by 20 maybe, if that, and we made a little raised bed, just that high. And we started with a little vegetable gardening. I don't even oh, know what we yeah. put in it, but it, there wasn't much there. And we filled that we filled that with solid, nothing but rabbit poop. And we, we grew in that. And it, it wasn't great because those roots got right through that and they were in, in the clay anyway. Well, we had a few tomatoes, a couple then, of bell peppers. Uh, every season we've just expanded on that. So this lifestyle of homesteading is not overnight deal. It's a process. Oh, definitely not. No, no, no it's it's work every day. If you think you're gonna, if you think it's gonna happen overnight, you are sadly mistaken. You thing, will be. One of the things that I've learned in my mess is in, in our place is it, once you get one thing finished, you got something else that's right there behind it. That, you usually, usually before you finish the first project, there's three more waiting for That's you. That's right. And oh, then before you get those finished, that one project's got to have some work done or you're going to lose whatever. That, that's you, what I yeah. got. Your to-do list is definitely a rolling list. It, it, never, it, it, it never, never stops. It never stops. It the never stops. honey do list but it's, never ends. But it's so much fun. so rewarding. I find it, uh, it, it work is, a, is we, we tend to say that's a bad word. But it's something to say about stress relief and doing yes. something that you can going to see a reward for when That's you're planting right. a tomato. That's right. Seed, and then you know, four or five months later, you're you're eating a fresh tomato. There's something to say about that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Getting when, your hands you in, the, in, in the garden and and working with nature is is bringing you back to God, bringing you you know back to your Creator. That's right. It, it's really therapeutic. That's right. Very much so. And it's a great feeling when you put in a hard day's work on your own stuff and you sit back with a glass of sweet tea yeah. and just look at it. Yeah. That's right. And, and a plate that Abby made, you know, yeah. from right. homemade vegetables Man. out of the garden. We made well down here. Fantastic. Yes. We Abby, have well. We have Abby is our 15 year old daughter and she's not in the video right now because she's actually doing her homeschool work on the computer in her bedroom right now. But she is a fantastic from scratch cook Oh. who cleans up after herself. It's amazing. <laughs> she 15, yes. she 15, she's 15. She's 15. She's and I'm 15. telling you, folks, uh, my father-in-law says she's one in a thousand because she, there is very, I don't know very many 15-year-olds that can get around the kitchen, kitchen and cook the way she did. We have eaten well. Yeah, we knows. went up to Arkansas and visited you and she volunteered to cook there too. That's right. Yeah. That's right. She loves it and it, she did a good job of, of that. You know, you mentioned the garden, working in the garden. And I, I, it's kind of funny how God put man in the garden in the first time. That was the very first job ever created. The very first job ever created was in the garden. That's right. God, he, he didn't say you're going to have an easy life. He said you're going to work in the garden. That's right. And to me, that is that is something that says something. I'm in not garden, sure what it says. But in the garden says, and tending the animals. Yeah, and that's right. That's, mm -hmm. yep. That's, that's right. what I feel and like was, I'm doing. And that yeah. was before the fall of man, that's so that right. was not a punishment. That's not a punishment. Right. That's right. That's that. And to me, that is what, which is, you know, kind of where we're going. So are you telling me chickens would be a good first animal to have on home? Chickens are a gateway drug. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you, you kind of gave us where, a, a kind of a past and a present of where you're at. Uh, 
you, you built your garden and then you got to the raised bed gardens. That's right. All right. Uh, last night we saw them uh, do a, a premiere on that. So you're going to, you, you've changed your way of, of gardening. You're not so much in the ground anymore. You're going to focus right. on the raised beds. Right. Because the weeds here, we just don't have the assets. And when I say assets, I mean time, money, um, you know, supply, the product, the, the work. Right. That, that, we can, that we can do because we're getting older. Those right. things are assets. That's correct. And you have to know your assets and, and, and use those wisely. That's right. We just, we just can't mitigate the weakness. If I have money, I don't have time. If I got time, I don't have money. Yes. Right. All right. Uh, the other side of that is I'm getting older myself. I'm B54 this year, and bending over and pulling a weed is a chore. Don't make oh, fun yeah. of me. Well, don't yeah. make fun of me. <laughs> Not even that. Not even that. It's it's time consuming. Yeah. And a lot of times he's at work. Right. And it, and it leaves a lot of it on me. That, that was my main and point. and standing outside yeah. and hoeing the garden, pulling weeds for hours, I just didn't have the time for it. That, that, I, that is amazing. Time factor. management puts me, you know, doing the raised beds, I can take ten minutes and pull the little bit of weeds that come right. through. And I can spend the majority of my time taking care of the plants, harvesting what needs. You know, taking care of a, an insect problem instead of, oh, there's Preserving more weeds. Preserving your harvest, whether it's Susan, or or right. with our raised bucket, Susan has said that a thousand times. You know, it takes me 30 seconds to clear a bucket full of weeds. Yep. A lot of people say that this homesteading is not new, and it's not. I mean, no. you know, our parents, our grandparents and all that have done it for years and years before we... It, put it, a name it, to it. We, and, and I, I know I've heard my dad talk about, you know, when he was growing up, of course, there was 11, 12 of them kids. Well, they all worked out in the garden. Well, we don't have that these days. Right. You know, we don't have the great big family to go and run a one acre garden. Mm -hmm. Like, you know. Yeah. And like you said, the whole pulling of the weeds, I mean, it is it is a chore. That's probably our least favorite. Oh, but, definitely. you know, in my mind, if I can spend 10 minutes weeding the garden, okay, well, that's out of the way. Well, that gives me that much more time to focus on the bug problem. Or, okay, well, this is broke, so I need to fix this. So <laughs> we're actually... Or bring, bringing in the harvest and canning it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because right. that takes a lot of time. It yeah. takes yes. a lot of my time. And so if I'm spending six hours weeding, I don't have time to yeah. do six can hours yeah. worth of canning. Right. Anything I can do to cut my time down on the chore that I'm doing is is I'm, I, I feel like I'm putting money in my bank. Six For sure. That's just that the, bucket, right. the endless right. bucket thing. Instead of having to stand there and hold that bag open and try to dump Yep. Whatever I'm dumping in it, mm. you put the bucket in, fill the bucket up. And that was just a, a wild idea that I came up with yeah, it's a good deal. because it worked for me. I was doing the, the, the rabbit manure by myself a lot of times because it was something I was able to do. But having them him here one day, he was holding the bucket, uh, holding the bag for me, and it was super simple. Well, then the next day he went to work, and I had to finish that. And holding the bag and shoveling at the same time just wasn't going well. <laughs> they, say yeah. they say necessity is the mother of invention. That's correct. Well, that's and, what and they, they also say to work smarter, not harder. Right. Yeah. right. And, and, and that was my end goal. And that's, and that's, that's right. part I, of what we I have am, to do. I tell my folks at work, I tell Susan, I'm the laziest individual you've ever met in your life. If I can get away doing it easier, that's the way I'm going to find out how to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had to make... Uh, some more parts to that we let the camera roll so it it took a little longer than we thought we just had a good time drinking coffee if you like what you see on this video hit that like button subscribe if you're inclined to and uh just share out the broussards they're a great family we'll see you on the next one part two <laughs>